Hello, today we are going to talk about wiring four wire stepper motors with a BuildBotic CNC controller. In this video, you will learn some easy tricks to sort out which wire is which and get your motors up and running quickly and correctly. The most common and simplest type of stepper motor is the four wire stepper motor, but there are also five, six, and even eight wire stepper motors. Five wire motors will not work with the BuildBotics controller. In other videos, I show how to wire six and eight wire motors. So what's the difficulty in wiring four wire stepper motors? Well in truth, it's not too difficult. Four wires come from the stepper motor, and there are four wires on the motor cables that come with the BuildBotics controller. But how do we know which wires to connect together? Before we answer that question, let's look at how four wire stepper motors are connected internally. Four wire motors have two sets of coils called phases that turn the motor when the driver applies power. The two phases are usually labeled A and B. The wires coming out of the motor are the ends of these phases. The motor drivers in the BuildBotics controller also have phases A and B. So all we have to do is make sure the phases in the motor are connected to the phases in the driver. If the phases are crossed, the motor will not run. It's okay to swap or flip the phases, but it will affect the drive direction. So we need to find how the motor wires are paired. Your best source for technical specs is the motor's data sheet, which can usually be found on the website where you bought the motor or by googling the model number. Most motors have their model number printed on them. Here's the data sheet for the three SureStep motors I have here. The wiring diagram shows that phase A is connected to red and white and phase B is connected to green and black. You can also use a multimeter to find the phases. Turn on your multimeter and set it to measure resistance. Then connect the leads to two of the motor wires. If they are in the same phase, your meter will measure a small resistance. If there is no resistance, they are not in the same phase. Here's a handy trick you can use even if you don't have a data sheet or a multimeter. Hold two of the wires together and try to turn the motor shaft. If the wires are on the same phase, it will be harder to turn. So, how does this work? When you connect two ends of a phase, you create a circuit. If the shaft is then turned, the motor acts like a generator that powers the circuit and produces a magnetic field. This magnetic field makes the shaft difficult to turn. When you connect two wires from different phases, no circuit is created and the motor will turn freely. The BuildBotics cable has phase A on yellow and purple and phase B on black and red. Now that you've determined which motor wires are in the same phase, connect them to the phases on the cable. In this case, we will connect yellow to white, purple to red, black to black, and red to green. Plug the motor into the back of the BuildBotics controller. Then plug the gamepad into one of the USB ports. Now you should be able to use the gamepad to drive the motor. Thanks for watching this video on wiring four wire stepper motors. You can find the wiring diagrams linked in the description below. In other videos, you can learn how to connect six and eight wire motors, three easy methods to splice motor cables together, and how to configure stepper motors for maximum performance and speed using the BuildBotics controller. If you found this video useful, be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons below. See you next time.